I'm over here at Wolsey Canyon where the fire started and uh, it looks to me like it started at 25000 Wolsey Canyon and then just went downhill uh, towards the south from there and down into uh, actually the new development down in Roscoe uh, not the summit uh, um, mobile home community over here but down the hills where the fire swept, I think. And I'm um, looking especially at this, this place right here. It looks like the next canyon over. Some kind of construction may have been going on. And uh, I'm supported in that notion by the fact that uh, the ba the, um, the intersection of Valley Circle and uh, Roscoe, where the new subdivision is, uh, was barred off and there were emergency vehicles in there just now. Just as I came up the canyon, there was um, a helicopter dropping, I guess, retardant, chemical retardant on a fire that was smoldering there, right at the entrance, just uh, west of, Ro of the Alley Circle, uh, where Roscoe ends in West Hills. And I see here still an emergency response there. So, then up here on the hill on Wolsey Canyon, there's a fire station which I, I'll show you a picture of. It's just a, a, there's a fire truck and there's some people, a couple of people working. Further on up the hill, past Sage Ranch is closed and up the hill. To the right, uh, there's two trucks barring off that dirt road that cuts off Black Canyon Road from Black Canyon Road over across to uh, Box Canyon. Um, so, so luckily, things are much better than I thought here on, uh, on Woolsey Canyon. The view of the Simi Hills tonight looks quite different. Uh, there's a thin layer of smoke over the hills, but I'm not seeing fires burning, and I'm not seeing helicopter firefighting activity. Today, after the winds died down, it's looking much better, much more Pacific thanks to the heroic efforts of our firefighters and emergency people from not only from Los Angeles but from other areas I think so thanks to everyone and uh, I'm hoping and praying that this is the last of the Woolsey Canyon fire